let's see if I can find this tweet from Boogie. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, here it is. He said, let me see if I can pull this up. You know, I've held my tongue for a while, but I'm getting real tired of it. The Ralph retort has been riding my dick since 2016. He's fucking obsessed with me. Eventually, I'm taking the nice guy off the nice guy mittens. Whatever. Unfortunately, you can't be nice to everyone. Some people don't deserve it. And he goes down. <laughs> some guy said some shit. He was a video game writer. He was a video game writer. <laughs> he said, I wouldn't waste my time. Dude posts pictures like this thinking he has drip. I said, where's all this video game writing you've done that no one ever cared <laughs> That no one ever cared about. <laughs> Uh, periodically, I'll uh, throw out a barb or two on Twitter.com. <laughs> I, I was uh, maybe there was a sampling that I'd missed. I was genuinely curious, but uh, he didn't offer up any uh, refutation to the uh, to the point that I had raised there. But anyway, maybe it's still coming. I'll I'll monitor the monitor the thread there. Now, I'm trying to find the tweet where he said, "Oh yeah, here he goes." Somebody said, just put the gun away this time. Boogie says, don't think I would even need to waste a bullet on him, is what he said. By the way, this is a week after he was inserting himself into, quite honestly, my family business with my son and me not being able to see him and all this bullshit. He was lending his verified account to promoting this fucking shit trash, honestly. And I won't go into any specifics about any people, of course, or my exact thoughts, what have you. Clearly, we all know them, though. No need. <laughs> No need, really, to to add them at this point. The fact is, the fat faggot, like he always does, stuck his nose where it didn't fucking belong, got involved where he didn't need to fucking be, and then, and I DM'd him, he had the nerve to be mad at me, because I said on Twitter that he should, uh, not Twitter, I didn't say it on Twitter. I went on Telegram and I said, Boogie should kill himself. This fat fuck, this piece of trash, this piece of garbage should kill himself. And then, he DM'd me and he's like, oh, well, uh, yeah, well, I saw this. He had already been talking shit about it. He's like, oh, well, I saw this, and now that's why I said this. And I was like, uh, yeah, well, you know what? You know why I said that, motherfucker? Because you got your fucking nose where it didn't belong in the first place. Promoting bullshit. Fucking with my fucking son. Just like, what in the fuck? You piece of goddamn trash. You sick fuck. It's documented how fucking sick you are, you piece of fucking shit. I'm fucking sick of you. We've been talking about you for years. This motherfucker, do they did they really think I would refuse a fight with Boogie? I'm gonna fucking kill Boogie in the fucking ring. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna fucking kill this motherfucker in the middle of the fucking ring. Sign me up now. I don't give a fuck. I will fight this motherfucker tomorrow. I don't give a fuck what the rules are, as long as it's equal. I'm ready to go. I will go to his house right now. Sign the fucking deal. Fuck this motherfucker. Piece of shit, motherfucker. You've been a fist riding bitch ever since Jump Street. And if anything, we taking it easy on you. And now this motherfucker can't even hardly walk. I got news for you. I'm going to beat your fucking brains out in the middle of that fucking ring. I can move, bitch. And I'm about to beat your fucking face in. I don't know who the fuck they think they're playing with, Boogie. This motherfucker, <laughs> there's no way he'll show, I am just like flabbergasted. You know what? If he's, if he's serious, let's go. Now, I don't give a shit. This motherfucker, he's got 200 pounds. Well, he probably, <laughs> he probably well, no, does have like 100. Dollars. There's no way he'll ever be allowed to do a sanctioned fight. <laughs> we can just do some exhibition. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I am ready. No, nah, I don't give a fuck. No, nah, <laughs> dude, Boogie, can you imagine how slow Boogie's gonna be? Are you Lincoln kidding me? ten dollars women's rights. I'm not one fast, yes. but like two for number one for yes, dude. two for no. Also, late night fun goal. Let's go. Thank you. We hit it. Women have been fighting for their rights. Dude, I'm gonna fucking very Boogie can't. Have you seen him move? I'm gonna hit him six times before he can even. First they said we couldn't dance, then said we couldn't drink. And unless some men allowed it, they said we couldn't think. They we hit the goal. Think, we it sounds like Dolly Parton. There was just so much about them we weren't allowed to do. But the first part of the I want to hear 9 to 5 now, actually. The truth. That's when he got <laughs> smart and that's why Adam don't like fruit. But that old tree of knowledge had some limbs that broke. We had to fight for women. 
Oh no, why'd they say that? Thank you, Anonymous. Anonymous sent three dollars as Keemstar putting this together. What's the well, okay, that's the next it? part. Did Boogie just throw this out on Twitter? No. No. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. My information is that this is a legitimate venture. Now, we'll see, obviously. But uh, that's that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. That's the only reason I give it a response. The fact is, fuck Boogie. I never liked this piece of shit in the first place. And actually, I got plenty of reason to beat the fuck out of him. Fuck this guy. I can't even, Boogie shouldn't even be able, I can't even understand, what is he, th- he must be hard up for cash. Somebody, I can't understand what he's thinking really to fight anybody that can even do anything. We can pick anybody out of this chat to beat the fuck out of Boogie. Like I can't, unless they're crippled, I don't understand. Oh, and I'm going to take it serious. I just really don't understand what Boogie's, I don't give a fuck though. I want to fucking kill Boogie in the ring. Boogie needs to fucking be hurt so bad that we never have to hear from him again. That's what I have to do for this sector. I have to take this fat fuck out. And I have to hurt him so bad and mangle him so fucking bad. Break his face so bad. Beat him bloody. Put him in the fucking hospital, if not the fucking grave. Just so we don't have to hear him whine anymore about his pathetic fucking life. Do you know, I take a hundred times more shit than this piece of trash. And every day he's on Twitter crying about... His fucking Prozac and his whatever and all oh, nah, the subreddit. And, nah, nah. and I got reams and DMs where he's talking about he's going to kill himself and blame it on fucking, blame it on this Sam and Toki Reddit and do all this. Oh, they'll be sad then and maybe they'll shut it down. You're pathetic. You know what? I'm going to shut it down. And they're going to say, Ethan Ralph, the baddest motherfucker walking, put this piece of shit in the ground. I want it on my resume. Fuck a subreddit. I'm not kidding, by the way. I couldn't. T- That's one of like three or four or five times he's ta- <laughs> that he has talked to me about killing himself. Anonymous and three dollars, please, Ralph. Boogie is in a really bad headspace right now. Please, I beg you, go easy on him. <sighs> I got. Guess- Cliff sent ten dollars. It's over boogers. I got a headspace for him. Coma. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Let's just bare knuckle fight. I don't give a fuck. You know what? We don't even need gloves. I want to bare knuckle fight this bitch. If we have to have gloves, fine. I'd rather bare knuckle fight this big bastard. I want to hear my knuckles crack against his fucking flesh. He's fucking blow. He's a garbage. If we can make that happen, let's make that happen. Somebody, you know what? Chad has a few ideas as well. He made his dad come. You know what? In the fuck? Oh! And he told it on the kill stream. I want Bryson Gray to walk out with me doing my intro song. Three dollars. What will be your nickname in the ring? Junkyard Dog. I don't know. I have to think about. It, it might be Junkyard Dog though. I want Bryson Gray. I want Bryson Gray to walk out with me, rapping one of his classics while we hit the ring. Yep, that's what. I, that's how I want to do it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Full, full fucking swag intro. We're all decked out, whole entourage walking to the ring. Yeah, that's how I want to do. It. With Bryson, fucking, yeah. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it earlier. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. And I, dude, Boogie, that fucking grill that they gave him for free so he could shill the teeth place, I'm going to break those fucking teeth. And they look like shit. It makes it look weird as fuck. Whoever, you shouldn't your teeth. I, that's always weird. When you get teeth that look completely different than your old teeth, then your face looks completely different. I don't know. Has anybody ever thought of this? You should, your teeth should look a, a little similar. Anonymous sent $10. Thank you, man. I've seen this happen. I won't name any names, but people we can all think of. Like, okay, <laughs> you don't, you look different now. Like, your teeth are completely different. I don't know. I mean, it, and they look like they're good, quote unquote, right? Like it, I don't know. I don't know what people think because, well, 
like they are good. They're good to teeth, right? They're straight. They look how you would want if your teeth were gr- like that naturally, but it just makes you look different. It changes the character of your face. So I guess I would want maybe you improve a little bit here or there, but I, you know you don't change everything because then your structure of your face looks different. Anyway, that's a that's a different topic, I guess. But anyway, not really because that's what I'm talking about. Boogie looks like a different person. What do you think he looked like? This guy. Can you imagine this fat fuck running? A, oh my god. What was the name of his porn size? Did he run some gay porn size too? Ugh. Came anyway. Here's Came Sweet. I just got off the phone with Boogie. He's officially challenging the Ralph retort to a boxing match. Well. As I think everybody's heard by now, I accept. General Zuma sent ten dollars. Ralph versus Boogie theme music. What is he? Does he really think I'm gonna take it easy, dude? I'm coming. I'm coming for that. I want to knock this fucker out and hurt him, dude. I want to hurt him. Drip, 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 drippy drop, tippy top, from a fitty thought, toppy real sloppy, call it slippy top, she quit be grub, on my kicky cock. Well, that's your bitch, come get her, she's a lost dog. She'll go to world, so I get my rocks, so I'm slipping up, pussy, don't you? Also, I think. You know, maybe we. I've had some other ideas about who might walk me down to the ring as well, who might join the posse. You know, we've had some history with Boogie on the show and his involvement with some other people. Who else might uh, be a part of the festivities at the fight? I've had some ideas. I mean, I haven't reached out. I don't know. I can't say, but. Uh, well, you know, I'm thinking that uh, I'm thinking that some big things could be in play. Let's just put it that way. Let's just put it that way. And that's, you know, Chad's making some assumptions, of course. But, uh, you know, there are certain things that Boogie fears more than anything, even just having to face, just to look at. This dude, he blames me. He blames me for his entire life getting ruined. You know, Boogie is a felon. If he has anything happen within the next two years, he's an official felon. He's already been convicted of a felony. He pled guilty to it for shooting that gun out in front of his house. He blames me for all that happening because it came because it came on the kill stream. Like when he came on there and had that fucking whole thing happen with Frank, that was when it got really crazy. <laughs> that was when it got really crazy. The very next month is when Frank went to his house. So he blames me. <laughs> He blames me for all that because I talked him into coming on the kill stream. And I was like, nah, Frank's just a comedian. No big deal. Like, just come on the show. I was like, Frank's just a funny guy. Come on. I was like, he's messing with you, Boogie. Like, just come on the show. Which, I mean, he was. He was just messing with him. Well, I mean, pretty hardcore. <laughs> pretty hardcore. But we just wanted to laugh on the internet. I mean, no big deal. I was right, though, by the way. He, I mean, the reason Frank was fucking with him, Boogie's a fake piece of garbage. That's the problem. And nobody likes the guy. And the reason Frank, I mean, I could imagine why he might target him. I mean, I don't know. But probably just because he, I mean, Boogie's just so greasy and phony and like shifty kind of. I don't know, man. He's just like, he's an operator. No no wonder he's rolling with Keemstar, quite honestly. Um, that's the one caveat here. These two guys are kind of, a couple pranksters, but you know what? I'm willing to make a lot of leeway. Uh, I'm willing to, I'm willing to cut a lot of slack to fight this motherfucker. So if there's any way, like, unless there's some medical thing that Boogie's going to try to claim or he's going to try to back out or whatever. Like, I mean, I don't really see how they could fuck this one up, but it's keen, keen fed informant. Somebody said, well, <laughs> I mean, not confidential fed informant, it's public fed informant. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not doing any, well, that is the caveat though. Obviously I'm not going to, you know, we're going to keep the same show and stuff. We're not going to do any Warski type considerations, uh, any type of, uh, any type of material like that or in the contract or whatever. No, I'm going to have to take a pass. But if, I mean, I'm assuming since Keem saying this and from what I've heard, um, you know, that he's, that he's supporting it, like that he's down to, to make it happen. So I don't know if that's true. It seems like it is since he put out a big tweet about it. So, I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I, the same way I was with the Worski thing. Like, I mean, I was being honest. I really would have done that, but I'm not willing to, to cut the show 
or I mean, you know, the stuff this weekend, like all the fun stuff we've had, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, in beating the fuck out of Boogie. So we'll see with that caveat, I'm going to put a caveat there uh, at the end. It's really up to how serious they are about it. Um, and then Worski, I mean, he's fighting in August, so we'll see if that comes off too. I mean, I'm assuming that it does, but I don't know. You know, this is not Don King and Bob Arum and like, you know, I'll wait to see, you know, like <laughs> Those are big fight promoters. Or uh, I don't know about Don King, how much promoting he does now, but I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see what what offers come out. And same as I said with the last one, I mean, I was never sent any uh, official offer or anything like that. So I don't want another dog and pony show with the stream where King comes out and says, "Oh, if only you do this." And do we have some terms that we can send over and like figure out and and just set up and do it, or no? Because like I don't. I don't want to do any matter of fact, that was one of the things last time when, when they said they wanted to do a stream. I mean, I understand the idea behind it somewhat that you want to do it in public where there's no people can, you know, not going to lie about what happened, but still it's like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of makes it a spectacle. You know, the negotiations, you do that after you have a deal signed, you know what I mean? You go out and have the, the stream where you're, <laughs> where you're there bickering or whatever, talking shit, not, not before. And you don't just, I mean, what do you, you don't really negotiate out in public like that anyway. Like it just doesn't make sense, but we'll see what happens. I did unblock Keemstar, uh, the fed informant. Uh, and I'll, I'll, <laughs> I've said much more colorful things about him, uh, recently, but we'll see. I'll, I will see what he's got to say. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CSA. Remember to like, and subscribe.